Learning About Liturgy, adapted from Learning About the Liturgy by Dorothy Kaczynski Carolla. Session 12, Liturgy of the Eucharist, Giving Thanks. Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. From 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. Our Lives Manny, would you please stay behind after the dismissal? Mr. Rosario asked. Manuel's heart sank deeper. He was already confused about the homework assignment. Now he thought he was in trouble, too. Mr. Rosario began, Manuel, I thought I saw a funny look on your face when I was describing the reading assignment. Do you need to ask a question about it? Manuel was surprised that the teacher had noticed. Mr. Rosario, I really didn't get what you were talking about, but I was so confused I couldn't even think of a question. Manuel explained, Why don't you get out your book and your notes from the day's class, and I'll show you what I mean, Mr. Rosario offered. Well, if you have time, Manuel answered shyly, I just want you to do well so you don't worry about my time, Mr. Rosario smiled. Manuel was surprised at his teacher's generosity. He had always liked Mr. Rosario, but suddenly Manuel realized just how hard he worked for his students. When Manuel went home, he finally understood the assignment. More important, he was very, really grateful to Mr. Rosario for looking out for him. One of the first things parents teach their children is how to say thank you. Sometimes we say thank you just to be polite. It is good to say thank you even when someone gives you a present you don't like or one you already have. But it's more important to notice the wonderful things people do for us. We need to notice when people are kind and helpful. Then gratitude will be more than just saying thank you. Being grateful will always be a way of life for us. Our Liturgy Throughout salvation history, God's people have been surprised over and over again at the wonderful way in which God is looking out for us. The gratitude we feel is expressed in the Liturgy of the Eucharist. There are many ways in which the Liturgy of the Eucharist expresses thanks. In collection, we give some portion of the gifts we have received. The sacrifice we make in the collection is part of our prayer of gratitude to God. It is also an important way for us to take part in the work of the church. <clears throat> A few people from the assembly bring the gifts of bread and wine along with people's sacrificial offering to the altar. There, the priest presents them to God with a prayer of thanksgiving, which he may say quietly or out loud. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Each time we respond, Blessed be God forever. With this prayer at the preparation of the gifts, we praise God for his goodness to us. We give thanks for the gifts of creation and for our own creation. We are grateful that God's gifts of wheat and grapes, plus our own work, have made bread and wine to offer God for this Eucharist. Our thanksgiving continues as the Eucharistic prayer begins. The preface prayer thanks God for his gift of Jesus. There are many prefaces, but here is one example. Sundays in Ordinary Time, number one. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we deal always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, through his cross and resurrection, he freed us from sin and death and called us to the glory that made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your mighty works as you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Then we sing, Holy, 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 an acclamation of praise to God. Something to know. Eucharist comes from the Greek word that means thanksgiving. Sacramentary. 
a large red book containing the priest's prayers for the liturgy. There's an opening prayer and a prayer after communion for every day, many prefaces and several Eucharistic prayers, blessings and masses for special occasions. You will usually see the sacramentary on the altar during the liturgy of the Eucharist. The parts of the liturgy of the Eucharist are preparation of the altar, presentation of the gifts, preface, holy, 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 Eucharistic prayer with a memorial acclamation, consecration, doxology, and the great amen. Then we have the Our Father, sign of peace, Lamb of God, communion, and prayer after communion. Something to do. Each day, be on the lookout for something to be grateful for. You'll probably find many things every day. Write down what you're grateful for each day. Don't forget to praise and thank God each day for all the people and things in your inventory. Learning about the liturgy.